So I thought I'd do a little simple experiment here. Um, I got copper and aluminum and distilled water. I'm technically going to make a galvanic battery. So let's uh, hook it up. Alright, we got hooked up and the voltage between them is 1.485 ish, somewhere around there. From these, whoop, look at that, from these two metals. Alright, now we're going to see what happens when I add salt substitute to the mix. Never done this before, so we'll see what's going to happen. Well, we had a decrease in power, and it's going down. Now it's going up. Okay. Well, let's add some Epsom salt to it. I've actually never done this before, so we're really going to see what happens with this. I get the stuff come out. There we go. And we got another decrease. So, it's decreasing when we're adding salt. And we're adding salt to the distilled water. So what does that mean? Well, it tells us that these salts are not helping the galvanic process at all. So this is anti-table salt. Because you've got table salt to it, this, um, it would have increased the power. Um, but as you can see, it's decreasing the power. Or the voltage, I should say. Because we started at 1.5. And adding those materials has decreased it. So that shows you that we're working against the galvanic process here and we have, at least I think, we have gone beyond the galvanic process in some sort of way. Um, this is just to let you guys know that these cells are not galvanic, these glue cells. Cause just because I'm adding salts doesn't mean that I'm corroding these uh, metal plates any faster either. So just letting you guys know.